In the first video of this lesson, we looked at actually using our for loop to iterate or loop over a list of names. But what if you want to deal with numbers and not necessarily names? So I'm just going to create a new lesson here and I'm just going to say iterating, oh, iterating over numbers. Rightio. So let's save this. So I have to do it again. Save lesson two shoot two done okay so we've got here what if we want to do if actually go over a list of numbers so let's just say we have numbers for example and I'm gonna give those let's just the numbers one to ten five six six eight ten okay numbers one to ten awesome I've got those and in the same way I did before with the names I can say four number which is individual number itself for number in and the name of the list which is here numbers radio colon which says okay i'm about to go into indentation indentation and i just want to say print number radio so again predict what's going to happen if i run this code do you think it's going to um give me an error because i haven't got inverted commas in there or is it going to give me what what's going to happen down here we know it's going to print what's going to happen down here holding your mind and let's see how right you are checking it out now and there we are print numbers one through to ten it's done that it's run over this list here and it's done it Cool. Now, you have got a task. What I want you to do is now I want you to make it print numbers between 1 and 1,000. Off you go. Do you see there's a bit of a problem with that? You have to sit here and go, okay, um, 11, 12, and each time you're just adding one number to the value, which is kind of painful. Um, and you know computers are, are better than that computers are actually designed to deal with repetition and slight changes in repetition So instead of actually writing a list out Python has a capacity for you to create a list of numbers and that little capacity is a command called range So range what it'll do it says okay print give me numbers and give me a range between 1 and 10 Radio, and I'm going to run that. And what do you reckon is going to happen? If I say the numbers is give me a list between the numbers 1 and 10, um, and it will say put that into numbers and then make a list here, and then it says for number in numbers, it's going to print me the numbers. So you predict what do you think is going to happen? What is it going to print down here when I run it? Hold that in your mind and let's see how you went. Okay, so who had that it was going to do 1 to 9? Who said one to 10? Because that's what it says up here is one to 10. Now, there's a little trick about range. You need to think about this. What this says is this is the number that the first number you start with, and this is the first number you stop on. So if you want it to be one to 10, you actually have to say 11 in here. So it will say, keep going until you hit 11 and then stop. Don't include 11. Radio. So we say we got range one to there. So if I run that now, let's see, does it give us a 10? Yep, one to 10. So that's done. That's cool. But you know, we've still got a bit of repetition here because I've just said, let's make a list and put it to this label numbers. Radio. And then when I've done that, then use numbers to create this. Now I could just take that and put that down here and get rid of the whole numbers together so I'm just going to cut that I'm going to replace numbers and I'm going to delete that out and now I've just gone down to two lines of code and let's run that and see what that does awesome so that's cool it's gone through and it's done as lines 1 through to 10 now this is the normal way that you will be using or construct a for loop in Python if it involves numbers is you're going to use range to create your list in here and you'll have your lowest value and then one, your highest value that you want plus one, right? And you're gonna put it into range in that way. So it does repetition there. What can we do in relation to repetition? Now I know how many times that's gonna repeat. That's gonna repeat 10 times. Can I do something about it? Like, so for example, look, if I wanted to expand it out and make it more and actually make it print 101 times, which is what I asked you to do to type them out, Let's see if we did that and go, okay. Yep, 
it's done nice and easy so this goes from one through to 100 right here so let's tie back to our turtle now and see how we can use this in a different setting so i'm just going to put in our normal turtle start that we've had that we used in the last couple of tutorials we used in the last lesson so turtle so importing the turtle module or the turtle library and then i'm going to um, make my window so it's not too big window equals um turtle dot screen um and then i need to change windows um dot setup and then i'm going to change that to 500 comma 500 radio so we've got that we've got him set there and we've got our little turtle so now i need to make a turtle i haven't had him yet so how about um my turtle um equals turtle remember when i'm when it, you see those jumping ahead like that is i'm pressing tab on the keyboard i'll put a couple of characters in and press tab and it will give me hints or complete the car complete the word if that's the most obvious one or the only one so i'm making turtle and i'm making a turtle out of turtle so so I'm making my turtle, um, and you can call that anything you want. I can call this, for example, I, I can give my turtle a name. He might be Fred, okay? So Fred is my little turtle. Um, he is a he is a turtle, um, and we get that information from the turtle library up there. Okay, so in here, instead of instead of saying print, what I actually want to do is I want to do something with my, with my Fred. So Fred, I want Fred to go forward, okay? forward okay and let's make him go forward 100 yeah then what we're going to do is i'm going to make him then go backwards um backwards 100 and then i'm going to make fred i'm going to make him turn let's make him turn to the right okay and i want to make turn to the right and let's make him turn just three degrees to the right Okay, so what I want you to do is I'm just going to change this to 121. 121 is going to move, commands are move forward 100, move backwards 100, turn right 3 degrees. So here's a big prediction. See if you can actually work out, before running it, see if you can work out what this one's actually going to do. Big prediction. Right, once you've got that in your mind, let's have a look and run the code. Is that what we had doing? See Fred going backwards and forwards and drawing our little line of a hundred wide there. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, turning three degrees each time. And of course, there's 360 degrees in a circle. And if you're turning three degrees, then that means you going to turn 120 times to make a full circle and we're going from 1 through to 121 which is 120 times so hopefully that means that he'll do a full circle and there we are that's a cool little diagram there a cool little bit of art that we have just created so now you know how to use a for loop in turtle you've got exercises um, for lesson two um, to complete in relation to how can we draw shapes, etc. using four loops and turtles. So off you go and we'll see you in the next lesson.